the, the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. We're actually trying to track Guy Sebastian down. Because what do you mean? He's, he's walking. He's, he's walking away from us. Don't leave, Guy. You've got <laughs> five hundred kilometres to go. No, it's and we the... know that you're on the you're on the step right now. So Dude. answer your phone, Guy Sebastian. Is that you, Kim? Oh, what it... would you like? Kim's oh. feeling very left out. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? We tried to call him. We had one demand. Uh, for yeah. him to grab the phone for the other interview you were doing, throw it on the ground and hand that one over. But oh, we got seriously? you, mate. Yeah. I, I um, he, he was looking at his phone going, no caller ID, who's this? Oh. <laughs> at the end of it, I was like, mate, that was probably whip. That's <laughs> so we're getting we're getting stopped a lot. We've, we've covered about 430 k's. We wow. are wow. a bit sore and a bit tired, but, um, but we're on the home stretch now and, and Tim's been filthy because people pull up and they're like, oh, guy, what an amazing thing you're doing and how it like, must be so difficult. And Tim's sitting there going, I'm walking too. <laughs> Tim, how's, how's your chafing going and oh. Tim's chafing? Guy? You know what? There's, there's been no chafing. What? And Tim said, mate, if anyone's going to chafe, it's me. You've got to wear these undies. That, that was Tim's strict uh, instructions to me was to wear these step one undies. They're yes. Like all, yeah, and, uh, and my little brother joined us. Uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's not a euphemism, is it? It's that no, that's your actual little brother. No, 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 no it's my actual little brother. No, no. Not my little there fella. has been times when the, the euphemistic little brother has disappeared in the cold. <laughs> we're pulling up next to trees, but um, no, it's, been, it's, it's been look, it's, it's been a long walk, but but we're pretty close to the million mark, and and um, and that means about thirty five thousand kids through a youth Amazing. mental health program that was. Um, you know, trying to trying to get out there, and it's yeah, it's, it's been amazing. People Mate, have been unreal. It is, it is just awesome what you and Timmy are doing. And if Timmy's feeling left out, I mean, I know it's a long story, but could you share the story of the time Tim was wanting to get off? Was he getting on or off a boat? Oh, and... we were going out for a fish. We were at Rose Bay at the at the boat ramp there, and oh, he's he's spewing that. I'm telling you, <laughs> he's uh, you know. And, and anyway, we're. I was driving the car and putting the boat in, and Tim got in the boat to, you know, get all the like rods and, and mm-hmm. stuff in. And then he was getting off, he was getting out of the boat, and I, I'm in the car, and I've heard this. Ah! And I've looked back, <laughs> and Tim is hanging off the boat. You know those little um, things that you tie your rope around, little yeah. bars. Yeah. He's fallen off off the boat but his, un- his undies and his pants have got caught in, in the tea bar and he's doing himself an atomic wet oh. and he's hanging up like can you- he's hanging upside down guy we don't want to we don't want to hear from you can you just oh. chuck Timmy on quickly because I feel right, like yeah. there's a bit of icing on that story can we put him on <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you? Oh, oh Tim, Timmy. What a horrible you. intro that was. But being <laughs> Guy Sebastian's best mate, I mean, are you used to it now? I mean, everyone's giving him the adulation for doing this walk, but are you getting anything at all, or are you just used to mm-hmm. it now? Mate, I am getting used to it. I probably feel a bit like Whipper being the, you know, the shadow in his... <laughs> <laughs> Hang up on him. Hang up on I'm him getting, now. You know, I'll sit there and have a chat to Whipper about it after and we can cry on each other's shoulders. Sure, mate, I'll get you through that. To think that, I mean, Guy Guy paid you a compliment because, I mean, if you looked at the fitness level between yourself and Guy, you'd say that you're more of a townhouse. So you're right, we do have a bit in common. Now, have you not had any chafe? Are you using as many water-based lubricants as you can shove down your pants mate, or what? No chafe. Honestly, no chafe. I've had nothing. I don't even have any injuries now. Oh, except for the blisters, but I'm doing pretty good. Wow. So you, how far are you walking each day, Timmy? Uh, we do about 35, 40 k's. Massive. Mate, yeah, Tim, so it's pretty good. Being around Guy all the time, do you get mistaken for anyone else, Timmy? Have you ever been mistaken for anyone? A bodyguard? No, I haven't. Where, where are we getting at here? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I was going to say who Tim looks like, but, mate, <laughs> no, thank you very much. Can we get the really important guy back on? Is that all right? Yeah, I'll put him back on. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Sorry to thanks. Get on. thanks. Thanks, Tim. Call you after <laughs> nine, mate. He's always trying to worm his way into my Isn't interviews. He? Isn't he? <laughs> always. I'm just hopeless. So, so, home stretch, how many more Ks to go, guy? Um, We've got uh, about 70 to go, so okay. we're doing 35 from, uh, today, and then... Uh, we're walking through the night tomorrow night. We finish on the set of sunrise. And just to put it in context, you know, how, how much people just aren't giving Tim love, even his own nana. We, we, he rang his nana and, and, and he said, oh, love, I'm going to be on, um, on the telly. I'm going to be on sunrise at about 7.30. And she goes, oh, Tim, that's when I have my shower. <laughs>
<laughs> they can't even get Nana out of the shower to, to watch him on telly. Hey, oh, this mate, to, um, to let you know how proud we are of the work you've done uh, for the Foundation Step Change, uh, we want to get on board because everybody is encouraged to donate. We've got $5,000, mate, that we want to no. help out to change for mental health. We love the work you're doing. Oh, Timbo's just saying sorry about the jokes now. <laughs> Should have got to the 5K 10, earlier. It actually was 10, 10 grand before. Oh, that is so kind of you guys, honestly. And Beck, Beck, our foundation managers here, how many kids does that put through the program for the year? Oh, she's whipping her calculator out. It's 5,000 divided by 30. My brother's an accountant, Jeremy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Work as a team. Mate, no, you're doing a great job, Guy. Um, this the is whole school. This, yeah. this is the change for mental health as well. And, and I know, you know, we, we've been watching you as well in the media lately, and, and we know what you've been going you've through, mate. Going so, on. Mate, you're, you're a very positive man. You're a good mate of the show. For anyone else, if you would like to donate, go to thesebastianfoundation.org, and you can donate there. But 70 Ks to go, mate. We're really proud of you. We want to donate. Donate five grand ourselves. Good luck with it, mate, and can't wait to catch up with you when you're back. Guys, that means the world, honestly. It's so it's so kind of you. Thank you, and, and we'll, we'll see you um, soon. I won't be walking to Nova. <laughs> <laughs> the Fitzy and Whipper Podcast.